So for the past three months, this Virgin Media Hub 3 has been losing all of its settings each time it's turned off or reboots. And today, finally, an engineer is supposed to turn up and take a look at it. He said he's coming between 12 and 4 p.m. Lots of texts saying come in if you don't want him to come. Text reply no. And it's now nearly three o'clock. So where's the engineer? Right, we've got another hour. Let's see if he turns up. It's now 3.30 p.m. and no sign of the Virgin Engineer. Still half an hour to go. Let's see if they turn up. <clears throat> 12 till 4. This is what to expect from Virgin Media engineers no sign 4 p.m. and no sign of the virgin media engineer unreliable we've been sat here for four hours waiting for him for wasting my time oh well what can you expect? He turned up at six minutes past four. We've gone down to the box. Going down to the box. Check some settings. How come you turn uh, you use port forwarding and everything like that? Port forward, that's when we go out for a CCTV. I like. You can watch the house. Yeah. Don't have it on all the time, just when we go out. Yeah. It's a useful thing. But do you mean, do you, do you make it reboot or does it just reboot itself? Occasionally it reboots itself because we know it's changed because the kids come and say the internet's not working. Right. And you come in here and that light's flashing? No, it's normal. It's working for me because it's connected by wire. Right. And uh, yeah, it just re resets to the default on the card. So I have to log in and change everything again. I think they do do that anyway. Pardon? I think they do do that anyway. What? The morons when they reboot, they just go back to default settings every time. The morons do it, everybody says it. When the it's morons not, it's reboot. not done it for two years. Yeah. Only in September. But apparently they've done software updates. To a... no, I mean like it reboots itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not like rebooting yeah. it by oh, logging right. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. like, I'm saying it might have done an update during the night and it's rebooted. Yeah. And then it's lost all the settings. And uh, yeah, I used to turn it off so the kids get off the computer and yeah. turn it back on and but now I can't do that because they lose okay. the settings. So has it been off this afternoon or something, has it? Yeah, I tested it before you came, like you sent yeah. you sent a uh, text saying, Is it, do you want us to still come? So I turned it off yeah. and it lost the settings, so I put them back on. Yeah. Just to make sure it's because you change the IP address, yeah. The IP addresses sometimes may change, yeah. but just by one digit. Well, this one's completely yeah. changed, yeah. Normally, they just you went to by Bristol, yeah. Yeah, right, okay. I thought that might be. I've just got to go down to the cabinet now, okay? okay. I won't be long, I'll be about five minutes, five, yeah. ten minutes, okay? Yeah, I've just got to go and check something down there first, okay? Right, I've had to take that off and all because that was causing you very, very low signal levels. Is it? Mm. Yeah, that's an old, it's what we call an attenuator. So I've got to go down to the cabinet now and make sure everything's okay down there. All right? So is it, is it connected? Yeah, it's connected. Okay. Yeah, it's connected. All right. All right. Yeah, it still comes up. Pardon? Yeah, the router's connected. Yeah. yeah. So I won't be a minute there. Yeah, I'll be back in about five or ten minutes, okay? Well, you left some. Yeah, it's just my paperwork. Oh, right, yeah. I won't be long. Yep, see you then. 
So the engineers swapped the attenuator, that's what he says. Did he swap anything? I don't know. I can't remember him swapping anything. He reckons he swapped something. Left this for paperwork. He's gone down to the, to the box, the cabinet. See what happens when he returns. Oh, you can just see him down there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That yeah. Right, that should be better for you there. Okay. So try and turn it off and on. Three. Turn it off. You can turn it off, mate. Yeah. So it was something in the box, you think? Yeah, you had loops connections, you had uh, a thing on there. It's off. Put it back in. Have a look. Give it a few seconds. Settings. It's reset. It's reset again, is it? Right, let me get a few phone calls because I think we've been told, and an email was going out, every time a customer reboots them, they do reset. It's not, I just, just turned it off. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's no yeah. good then, you don't keep well, saying. Let me just make a phone call, okay? It was okay for the previous two years. Yeah, let me just make a few phone calls and then I'll find out about that, all right? Because I think we've been told that when the modems are rebooted like that, they do reset all the but settings again. It's just been turned yeah. off. Yeah, because when I know, we'll get another modem just in case they said to me now that probably could be a faulty modem. All right? But I won't be a minute. All right? Yeah. <laughs> it's reset. I'm turning off and on, and he says that's how they're supposed to work. But if you turn, turn it off and on, it loses all of its settings. That's how they're supposed to work. A lot of cods wallop. So you need a new modem. The engineer reckoned that this poster he said, this is a virgin engineer. That if you turn the modem off and on, it loses all of its settings. That's how this supposed to work. Well, a lot of cods wallop. Checklist. Yeah, you need the you need a new hub three. Oh, I'm gonna write down not repaired. Yeah internet's not working is it? Yeah because I turned it off and on and it's lost its settings. It's supposed to give me a new one but he's messing around saying it's supposed to do that. Swap the motor out, okay? Okay. And then if this carries on doing it, then it's some at their end. It's been okay to for do. two years. Yeah, and as I say, if they do it again, then it's no to do with the modems themselves. It's some at further back on the system that does it. Yeah. All right. So, but how would it lose its settings if it's... I don't know. Pardon? I don't understand how it would lose settings down there. Um, wouldn't it be that the EPROM was a... The, the memory is not retaining it any longer. Yeah, it might be. It might be just a faulty model. Yeah, yeah. it might be just a faulty model. That's why I'm going to swap it out. But I know that uh, when I rebooted my modem a few months ago, uh, I went to log back in again. And all the passwords had gone back to as they were before. Mm. So what I did, I just put them all back in, but I haven't rebooted it since. Mm. So I don't know. Okay. A new 
of the three. Black one. Let's see if this one works. So he's left the black router and he says he's going to do a firmware update. It'll take about 15 minutes. He was here for about 25 minutes. And see if it works. The main thing is that it should work as good as the previous one. I think he's gone. He's still out there. So now I'm logged into the new Hub 3. I'm going to change the settings and then turn it off and on and see if it keeps the settings or not. So the internet access denied. Hub status. Have you got internet? No. I have no internet. The engineer should have stopped and waited until he actually worked before leaving.